Yeah, uh, there's one more new uh, thing that SAP is coming up. That is uh, HANA, if I'm not wrong. Yes, yes. No, actually, what happened is it has been acquired a Sybase database. Sybase uh, is a again a reporting um, a database that uh, is acquired by this company like SAP, and they came up with in-memory concept. Even in the database, uh, they came up with uh, in-memory. So that is what HANA SAP HANA. Hmm. Like it competed to big data. Correct, correct, correct. Exactly. I guess that's where we all want to be in few years. Yeah, yeah. Because so when the what uh, big data was saying that the traditional systems cannot support uh, uh, this the uh, huge amount of data. So SAP came up with the uh, Hana, keeping in mind with the in-memory concept because they are they are using clusters and they are in, uh, big data. They are storing data in the form of files. So with by using the clusters. So but uh, here it was like in memory concept. In memory means like the complete uh, data would be in the RAM itself. So maybe when it can retrieve uh, faster than uh, even Hadoop also, I guess. Or it may take same time. So that was the reason even uh, that HANA is also having a very good uh, future. What I guess. <laughs> So now was it clear what is data warehouse and ETL tools and business intelligence tools? So this is about ETL and uh, this thing. And going forward, so we'll be discussing uh, if required uh, data warehousing concepts. So then prognose architecture, features and versions. Only these two uh, sessions will be theoretical. Like this is one hour session and this is one hour session. So from the next class onwards, completely everything will be practical oriented. Uh, uh, classes, so we'll be working with the tool directly. Like framework manager is for two-dimensional modeling, and reports today is for report development purpose. And to manage reports, we we'll use Cognos connection. So for three-dimensional reports, transformer and analysis studio for development of that uh, reports. So we are covering two-dimensional, three-dimensional as well, and the complete project process. So everything will be practical oriented sessions, uh, no theoretical sessions. Only first uh, two classes will be theoretical. Uh, if required, that two data versing concepts and all these basics if required, we'll discuss. If not really required, then we'll skip this one. And directly we'll uh, jump to Cognos architecture, features and versions. So then we'll start working with the tool itself. Regarding software, our administrator will log in into your machines and uh, uh, he'll be helping you with the installation. So, so in your mission, we'll be installing the uh, Cognos software so that uh, whenever required, you can practice it. Until you un uninstall that, so we'll be having access to Cognos. So this is what uh, you know, Cognos. Uh, uh, here you can see framework manager window based all programs. So IBM Cognos 10, so IBM Cognos framework manager, and IBM Cognos. IBM Cognos Framework Manager and IBM Cognos Transfer. These two are uh, window based tools. So, in the Framework Manager, we do two dimensional modeling, and in the Transformer, we build a queue for three dimensions. So, reporting will develop in a web based tools like Report Studio and Analysis. So it will take some time because the uh, services are system. So right. So this is what uh, Cognos connection is in there. So generally what we will do is we will uh, do modeling in the framework manager. I will type it that will be better for you to understand. So generally what we will do is Framework manager I call that as FM. It is for modeling. This is a window basic tool. If I want to open framework manager, I need to go to start, all programs, and IBM Cognos 10 and framework manager. 
So here I will develop a model. I will extract the tables from the different sources ones and I will do modeling. Nothing but joining and after that uh, calculation and publishing chart. Then that related of one package is published. Then in the report studio, I will develop report. And we have Cognos connection to manage the reports. Transformer for cube building purpose, like three dimensional. And analysis studio for report development. And cube related, three dimensional report development. Yes, uh, this is a web basic tool. So we'll be we have to use uh, IAS, Internet Information uh, Services. Yes, as this is a web basic tool, obviously we have to use IAS. So this works with the IAS because these things like Cognos connection all the we have window based tools and web based tools. This is a web based tool. A browser based configuration is required. IAS has to be enabled so that we can. Access. See, this is what report studio. Author advanced report. So, if I click on author advanced, and this is page is called as Cognos connection. If I click on author advanced report, nothing but report studio. So, before opening, it will ask as a package. So, this package will develop in the framework manager. Once it if it is developed and uh, published, then we can able to uh, use this one here. So, see, let me click on Go Sales Query Package. So, now that will be open in the Report Studio for Report Development. And this is a Framework Manager. I will open Framework Manager also. To create a new report. These are all the different templates. Click OK. So here we develop report and we'll save the report. That will be automatically saved here. The Cognos connection in my home and the IBM Cognos country. And this is framework manager. And just to open in a project, existing project. We'll be discussing elaborately among when get countries. So in the framework manager, it is uh, used mainly for modeling purpose. It is a window based tool. So what we'll do here is we will uh, initially create a project, then we will import a table structure and we will join them, we will set up cardinalities, then we will apply filters, calculations and conditions, we will create a package, after we will apply securities, then we will publish this uh, package. Once if it is published, then that will be open in the report studio, that can be open. So this is what framework manager, how it looks like. So like all these are all the different tables extracted from great outdoor sales and we have joined all these tables and we will publish this. Then only after applying filters, calculations, conditions, then we can able to open it in a report studio. So this is how the tables will be available here for report development. If I join the table, then I can just drag and drop, I can do anything here. See, let me click on product line, product type, something unit cost. So I will just double click means that columns will be moved automatically to the work area. And if I click on run button, that is it.
here you can see the output. So, Cognos connection is something uh, <coughs> where we can save our report and we can share to the user. So, user will, uh, if you log into the, we will be having access to Cognos connection. So, based on his credentials, he can uh, able to log in into the My Home or IBM Cognos content. Uh, there, let us say if you click on My Home, what are reports we have been saved that will be available here in the public folders or My Folder. So, if he let us say belongs to finance team, he will be having access to finance reports. See, these are all the reports like let us say if I click on big classes. So, these are all the reports what we have. So, he can directly click on here so that he can able to uh, get the output. So, Cognos connection is where end user can access report or even developers can access reports and in the Cognos connection as well, we also have uh, it has been segregated into three parts, my content, my actions and administration. Administrator has to log in from this part and all the report developers, if they want to connect with these studios, they have to open it from here. Even if the end uh, user, if he wants to access reports, he needs to connect from the my content. Like administrator, developers or end users, where if they want to access reports or studios, then it is a hub to all of us for development of reports or accessing of reports or administering the reports. Everything can be done from the Cognos connection window. So, this is what Cognos connection window and uh, this is a report studio where we develop reports and before this reporting, we will go with the modeling. After publishing this package only, then I can able to open that in the report studio. So, this is what Cognos viewer, the output. Framework Manager, Modeling, Report Studio for Report Development and Cognos Viewer for Output, to view output. And if I want to save that report, if I click on save, then that will be automatically saved in the Cognos connection. Here I have two folders, if I click my home, public folder and my folder. Public folder and my folder, so this is it. So, was it clear? Arvind and Shailaja, was it clear? <laughs> okay. So, it would be a little bit confusing, but uh, we will be elaborately discussing, uh, you know, from the next class onwards. So, I just want to show you, because Arvind asked me to show the window how it looks like. So, that was the reason I just showed it. So, we will be discussing it elaborately with the concepts and everything.